everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make a dessert called The Next Best Thing to Robert Redford. And this is an older dessert, probably from the 60s, 70s, somewhere around there. I'm really not quite sure. And I really don't know why it's called this, other than the fact that the lady who made it must have been smitten with Robert Redford. <laughs> so what I have here is one stick of butter, and I'm going to just go ahead and cream this. And the butter was nice and soft. And to that, I'm going to add one cup of all-purpose flour. And I'm going to mix those together. And now I'm going to mix in one cup of chopped walnuts, or you could use pecans. After you have everything mixed up, you're going to press it into the bottom of a 9 by 13 pan that you've greased. And I just sprayed it with some cooking oil spray. I'm just going to go ahead and dump this in here. And then sort of spread it out and start pressing it into the bottom. After you have everything evenly pressed into the bottom of your pan, you're going to bake this at 350 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes or until it's nice and golden brown. And then we're going to let it cool completely before I show you the next step. Now we're going to make the middle layer for our dessert. What I have here is one 8 ounce package of cream cheese that's softened and I'm going to cream that with a cup of sugar. Now I'm going to fold in four ounces of Cool Whip. Um, I'm going to just eyeball it. This is an eight ounce, I think. Yeah, this is an eight ounce container, so I'm just going to use half of it and fold this in, or you can use um, homemade whipped cream if you would rather do that. And we're just going to fold it in. You don't want to deflate the Cool Whip. You want this to be nice and light and fluffy. Now we're going to spread the cream cheese mixture on top of your crust. Now I'm going to set this to the side and work on the third layer. Now for the third layer, I have three cups of cold milk and then I have two boxes of instant pudding. This is vanilla and chocolate and these are the 5.1 ounce size boxes and we're going to mix both of these into the milk. Now I'm going to whisk this together and then I'm going to let it sit until it's thickened up a little bit. After your pudding has thickened up, you're going to just pour it over top of your cream cheese mixture. And this would be even better if you made it in a clear um, pan so that you can see all the layers. But my clear pan doesn't have a lid and I wanted to put a lid on this because I'm going to be taking it with me tomorrow. After you have your pudding all um, spread out nice and even, you're going to add the rest of the whipped topping. After you have the whipped cream spread out, um, this is just optional. If you want to do this, you can. I'm going to take a chocolate bar that I've had in the freezer, and I'm just going to sort of shave off pieces of it. I'm just using like a peeler and just shave it all over the top. I'm 
This is a little bit messy. <laughs> You could also, um, <laughs> you could also uh, just take some cocoa powder and dust a little bit on top. That would be really pretty as well. Or you could just leave it plain, whatever you want to do. After you have all of your chocolate on the top, if you wish to do that, then you want to cover this and refrigerate it. You know, just chill it until you're ready to serve it. You could probably cut into it right now, but I'm, I'm not going to do that because, like I said, I'm going to take it with me later. Although I might cut out a piece just so that I can show you guys what the inside looks like later on. This is the next best thing to Robert Redford. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Share this video with your friends. And I will see you guys later. Bye! Alright, now I'm going to put the lid on it. If you like it, then you should have put a lid on it. Oh, oh, oh.